Oh gosh, it's a lot harder than I thought. Oh no. <sighs> I died. Hey guys, Cloud Wolf here, and I am back with a kind of a creation episode, command creation episode, and it is going to be on this new thing I I made right here. This is for a map that I'm making. It is Pyromancy Volume One. So there's going to be more than one. There's going to be Pyromancy. There's going to be Cryomancy. There's going to be all the different elements. Pyromancy, in case you didn't know, is fire, fire magic, pretty much. And uh, so it runs off of these command blocks and these command blocks so I will have a schematic download in the description and if you have a world you want to put this on then just put this in you're gonna need this schematic there'll be I think I'll do separate schematics you're gonna need this schematic which gives you the mana bar and it also gives you a this is facing de detectional so like it'll tell you if you're facing north south east or west which is important for the man for the pyromancy book and many of the other books are going to need that. And then after you get this in your world, if you want to just add some others, all you're going to have to do is add in the the build, which is like this. It'll be enclosed like this. And you just add that in. And this right here is all the scoreboards, and you click the button to set it up. I'm probably going to move some of these out so that they're instead with this setup. That way you don't have to get a new version of the mana creator each time. Um, I'll probably be working a little more on the mana creator before... Uh, before it's done, but for people playing in survival, it'll it's already done. Like the max mana will be a thousand, but when it comes to the game I'm making, it's gonna be like it's gonna like the there's gonna be different levels of magic. So the first level only gets 300 mana. So that's all I'm gonna go into on that. And this is the pyromancy book, and you click here, and it'll give you a pyromancy volume one. I may do a villager trade with like a couple of emeralds, so you have to get the emeralds to get the pyromancy book. So I set the time tonight, and we will see what this can do. So, first off, we got... Oh, and this is a side note, but um, I'm not sure if you noticed this, but since it's Halloween, there is, like, I guess a 1 in 4 chance that the zombies will spawn with pumpkins on their head, and it works for skeletons, too. Um, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. So, this pyrom so what Pyromancy does, so you go in the book and it says Pyromancy Volume 1, you have Flame 1, which is negative 100 mana, and Fireball 1, which is negative 300 mana. So right now I have a command over here that's just making it so I have infinite mana, because it takes a little bit to restore. Uh, what it tells you is Flame 1 ignites three entities, three blocks in the direction you face, in a radius of two. Fireball 1 shoots a fireball about three blocks ahead of you with a radius of two explosion. So the first one is flame and you'll see the little flame particles. Anything within the flame particles will burn with the exception of maybe the outermost little bit of flame particles. And it works in all directions. Just as you can see. And then there's also the fireball which I like a lot more. It shoots a fireball and it lands about three to four blocks in front of you with two block radius. And if I pop into game mode two, you'll see that I don't take damage no matter where it's shooting. That way, it doesn't kill you. But I can accidentally run into it like that. And as you see, it, take, it does quite a bit of damage. So I mean, you can just blow up multiple zombies at once. And I'm gonna put this on open to land so that it doesn't pause when I open the book. That way the mobs have a fair chance. And oh, you have to kind of be on level with them. There we go. See, he's on fire. So, um, not going to go into too much explanation of how this works, but first we have this, which is a command block. Oh, and by the way, you don't have to have cheats in your world to do this. You can put this thing in your world, and then you can leave cheats off because it totally works without cheats. Um... It tests if you're carrying the book. If you're carrying the book, it's going to enable certain scoreboards of Flame and Fireball, which is what you set when you click this. You're setting Flame and Fireball scores. And then it is... Yeah, that's what it's doing. And if you're not holding the book, you can't use Slash Scoreboard or anything on the Fireball and Flame. Uh, fireball, it's just testing for where you're facing and summoning a Fireball with the correct motion. 
and flame it's testing for where you're facing and summoning and using slash entity data at a type equals not a player in a radius of two fire 100s so fire 100 is going to make them burn for about five hits which is half a heart each one so two and a half hearts not that good that's why it only costs 100 mana this one costs 300 because it does a lot more damage um, but it's good for getting their health down like if you don't want them to regen so that is how that works and uh, so yeah, so now we can test this in a little thing I made for Halloween. It's pretty cool. I'm going to have to give myself some steak, and we are going to do a battle against the mobs. We are going to see. I never tested this yet, but we are going to be fighting a witch. And here she comes. There she is, the witch! Burn! Oh, and she has a minion! Oh, the minion stuck. Oh, I'm good. Minion stuck. Burn, burn, baby, burn, burn on fire. Oh no! No, 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 no. These things are way stronger than I thought. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, it's a lot harder than I thought. Oh no. I died. Let me put this in here. Okay, so we're going to have to do this until I make it, because I just really want to make this. I want to beat the witch. And I'm going to be adding this as a schematic as well, so you can pop this into your world and test it out yourself. Not, And it comes with these command blocks. Um, where are they? These ones over here to make the witch work. They're very simple. I think I'm going to make an altercation right here. Uh, this is kind of setting the difficulty of how fast the skeleton spawn. So I'm going to change it to 200 second, 200 times 20, so 10, like 15 seconds, and let's go. And the witch died. Okay. Okay. So I just want to do that so it gets rid of everything. Okay, witch. Let's burn her do some initial damage and I already died oh my gosh this is this is not working out too good let's burn her light her on fire oh here they come oh and by the way the skeletons do not take a damage from fire because they're wither skeletons Whew, I did it that's it I killed the witch and that is that's that is about it guys thanks for watching and expect some more of the similar stuff to this with ice and and the different elements and expect that later i'll probably do two at a time catch you all later